As Bill Cosby stands trial for allegedly drugging and sexually assaulting a former Temple University employee, some of his other accusers have cleared their schedules to watch it all unfold. Julie Grant spoke with one of them after court adjourned today. Ken, good evening to you. Victoria Valentino has very publicly accused Bill Cosby of drugging her and her roommate and raping her back in 1969. This week, she and several other accusers are here in Montgomery County watching him stand trial. Victoria Valentino says people ask her all the time what she would want to say to Bill Cosby now. I would ask him when his son died, did he ever think of what he did to me after my son died? Valentino claims Cosby took advantage of the grief she was feeling over her little boy's drowning. My son was six and he had just drowned and Cosby was interested in getting to my roommate and he used my grief to get to her. Have a shred of consciousness did it ever cross his mind, but I, I don't think he has any, any conscience. She and other accusers like Lily Bernard are showing up at the Montgomery County Courthouse every day wearing pins that say, we stand in truth. I think he's sociopathic. I think he has no empathy, no personal insight. And I think that if he is feeling any remorse, it's about being caught. Valentino says Cosby raped her after she tried to protect her roommate from him after he gave both of them drugs. And then she was unconscious. I distracted him. He was mad at me for doing that, and he took it out on me. I was the collateral damage. After the incident, Valentino says she had to go low profile for years and even walked away from a recording contract. Day number four of the trial is tomorrow. The prosecution will continue presenting evidence. Then, of course, it will be the defense's turn if they wish. If Cosby is convicted, he could spend up to 30 years in prison. Reporting outside of the Montgomery County Courthouse, I'm Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.